And uh, while well, we welcome to Aarhus, uh, my name is Rabia Asadakmi. I'm the Mayor of Culture and uh, Sports. And uh, thank you very much for the opportunity uh, to come and give a, a brief introduction about uh, Aarhus and uh, our cultural life. Can you hear me? Um, it's, uh, it's a great honor to, um, uh, for me to present Opus for people like you, clever, nerded people, as uh, it's nerded people, as I also uh, know you are, but you are doing a great work, uh, and I will come back to uh, what, what its uh, open source uh, means for, for us in, in Opus. And uh, please feel uh, free to interrupt if there's uh, any question or don't understand what I'm, I'm saying. I'll try to, to make my voice also clear. We are gathered here uh, today to open uh, a new uh, office conference. Um, but as I told, I will try to, to say some few words about, about OS and the, the development in OS. Aarhus is uh, only a, a small city if you compare it with many other European uh, cities. Um, but we are even of the, the second largest city in, in, in Denmark. The city is, is growing and the city is changing. I don't know if some of you have been here in Aarhus before. Yeah, many of you. Maybe, maybe you already see the, the big development in, in this part of the city, in the harbor. The, the, very, the, the nearest, um, the recent few years, it's been a very, very big development. From being a city in Europe, we are working very hard to becoming a European city. Aarhus has about 300 25 inhabitants, and we expect to grow more than 10 persons by 2020. That is a population increase of about 33,000 3, inhabitants. We have a world class university, and a total there is a more than 50,000 uh, students in the city. The university is a good indicator of what we want in, in, in our city, uh, Aarhus. We want cultural and education, which you can see in our iconic buildings, such as here at uh, Dock 1. And I hope that you had the, the possibility to, to look around and see the building. The establishment of the University of Aarhus in 1928 gave the city a very good post. The university also attracted several other educational institutions to the city. But the university is not standalone. In the past years, Aarhus has gained new world-class cultural institutions. Aarhus Art Museum, Aarhus, which opened in April 2004, the world-famous artist Alfred Eliasson has created the rainbow on the roof called the Rainbow Panorama. I don't know if you have been visiting that place. If you not, I would suggest you do it. It's really beautiful. You can also have a very good view of the, of the city from, from, from the rainbow. In 2011, we opened a cultural production center for uh, literature, uh, visual art, and stage art uh, at Gospen. The fantastic new Moscow Museum opened last autumn. And this summer, we opened this building, Dock 1. So you can just imagine, in, in, a, in a few years, so many things have been happening in this uh, city. It's all about the, the development that has been in this city. This library is the most advanced library in Europe, actually, if not in the entire world. 
the new main library is indeed a, a new kind of, of library. You can take a look around yourself and see how, how it is. Um, the library is not, not longer a place where you can borrow uh, books. The new role of the library is to be the center of civic engagement. The idea is that the municipality creates a platform, in this case uh, a building, and it is up to the citizens to develop the, the content. And that's actually the main purpose of this building. It's not that we are going to put the, um, uh, the content, but it's, it's up to the people who come here to see how they want to, to, to develop and how they want to use uh, this library. That way talk is an open source source building. Um, Aarhus is European capital of culture in 2017. Hope you will come and enjoy uh, the that big events. Um, our mantra is let's rethink. This means that we are using this opportunity to build on what already exists. At the same time, we are experimenting with ways to do things differently and smarter. Besides the top-down decisions taken by the city council, we experience a growing bottom-up movement. For example, if you need to get rid of an old coach, you will carry it outside your house and wait for the dustman to come and move it. However, the idea of recycling is growing in Aarhus. On Facebook, you will find a group containing more than 30,000 citizens who swept all kinds of all things. Furniture, electronics, devices, clothes, etc. 30,000 members of a local Facebook group. That is almost 10% of the population in Aarhus. This is not happening because of the let's, let's think mantra. Let's really uh, reflect the attitude of Aarhus. A mindset which goes beyond traditional thinking and is a major part of our vision of for the capital of the culture. The big picture is made of small and large initiatives. One of those initiatives is open source. The reason we are gathered here today. In the municipality of Aarhus, we have our attention on open source. We believe that by sharing our knowledge and skills, we are able to make something even better. We believe that when we stand together, we stand stronger. We believe that owning and opening up our code and data makes us free. Free to work in ways that sorts and brands us as an organization instead of being looking upon as a part of MS. We believe in being open and innovative, which is why open source is a natural way of thinking or rethinking the way we do things. A lot of institutions around the world look up open, open source as an interesting new way of thinking and working with IT. Labor Office is a good example of how an open source initiative can grow really strong. Labor Office is one of the most used open source programs in the world. It is an example of how an open source project can get popular by as well private users as 
public institutions. The many people that are here today shows the strength in open source. And what difference a community can make if it's belief in its purpose. I'll tell you that we are proud of being the host city of this year's Labour Office Conference. And we hope that you will enjoy your city. I'll tell you a few words about what we have, not at, le at least about our cultural institutions. So I hope that you will enjoy your time here in, in Aarhus, take a look around um, and see uh, how uh, it is being developed and get and cultural experience. I wish you all, all a pleasant uh, stay in Aarhus and uh, a fantastic conference here at Doc One. And once again, thank you for the opportunity to tell you about how we think about open source and to tell the opportunity to tell you a few words about our city, Aarhus. Good stay and good day.